All right. Hello. 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 So today you guys might realize that we have a guest with us. Uh, guest, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm pretty good, thanks, my man. How are you? <laughs> You're so formal now. What is this? <laughs> I'm putting on my uh my my like work call voice. <laughs> Today we're doing we're doing a bit of a drama lore stream. We've got a guest with us. We have we have the stand in for you, lovely audience. Uh, we have <laughs> Toxic. Um, if you're unfamiliar with who Toxic is, I've talked about her on the stream before. But if you're new, uh, Toxic is going to be helping me become a Goblin VTuber. Uh, she, Wait, you've spoken about me before? Yeah, people asked because uh, I said that I was going to be a VTuber. Uh, but if you don't uh, know, Toxic makes porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to Toxic is very talented and um, funny, so it should be a good time. Damn, uh, you're way too kind to me. See, see, look at this. The chat is like based. Porn good, based. Oh. Okay, good, good, good. We got the right crowd here then. That's good. To unfortunately, Toxic is British. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you guys. How familiar are you with an individual hey, everyone. known as Edwin? I know fuck all, my dude. I've been I've been out of the, the YouTube drama loop for, for years at this point. So this is gonna be this is gonna be wild for me. Okay, so Boy, do we got a, a bad one for you today? <laughs> <laughs> we're not we're not going into it on easy mode. This is gonna be well, straight in the deep end. All right, all right, all right. So Edwin is like me, except I would call him the Rizzler, right? <laughs> and here's here's why he's the Rizzler. Edwin's like me, but where I cover Darman and morons on the internet, he has decided to be a professional and cover people like professional air quotes and, and cover people like um. What's an example? Uh, do you know who Davi Vanity is? Mm, oh my God, Jesus! Yeah, it's yeah. A deep cut, right? Well, you know how he's like a nonce or something. I don't remember the specifics of that one. In case you don't know, Davi Vanity uh, likes to hit up minors. From what I remember, that's a legend. Air quotes, but um, <laughs> just in case, I don't want to get sued. Uh, but he does <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, toxic, if you didn't know. The hit band from South Africa, Diane Antwerd, also had a similar event like that, right? Because uh, damn, right. So this is this name. is the Edwin. Yeah, yeah. So this is the this Edwin, is the guy, right? All right. So he seems like an upstanding, fine gentleman, right? Uh, he's got his little suit on. He's he's talking about how Chris Hansen is cringe uh, in this video, right? Damn. Okay. believed that Chris Hansen. Oh yeah, he was also in the Chris uh, the Odysseon documentary. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, okay. Right. So so he's linked then. So yeah, he's 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 linked to a cursed uh timeline with that, right? But where stuff gets interesting is what he does with this clout. You might notice with this stuff that hey, he everyone. covers a lot of uh lady victims, right? And he interviews them. He interviews okay. them on a second channel. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Uh <laughs> he interviews What's up? He interviews ladies over here on his second channel, right? And this is mm -hmm. fine. This is normal. Here he is, you know, hanging out with some, some ladies. Uh, but something happened recently. He got canceled. So this yeah. is... <laughs> our that's why we're here, right? Yes, yeah. that's why we're here. I'm, get, I'm getting <laughs> there. So Edwin <laughs> chatted up one of the victims of a prior story and apparently has allegedly gone through and chatted up multiple victims on their stories <gasps> and slid into their DMs, right? Oh, no. Hence the Rizzler. <laughs> so you, you know what you do is that you target uh, the most vulnerable women because yeah. they're the easiest. I mean, that's a tactic, right? People use that. They go for, they go for women who have been hurt. Um... <laughs> So, so he's, and he's doing it publicly. He's done it publicly. Yes, it was one faithful night over at Keem Stars, which is how all good stories start. And uh, allegedly, Edwin, along with Keem Stars' former co-host, a man by the name of Salvo Pancakes, right, engage mm -hmm. in a sexual act with one of Edwin's internet GFs. Um, so allegedly, they have a threesome that night. 
which is Wait, fine. With fucking Keemstar? No, not with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me let me back it up a second. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got lost. <laughs> right. All right. So they didn't have sex with Keemstar. Keemstar is a faithful man to his twenty-one-year-old girlfriend. I am girlfriend. slightly, slightly disappointed. And allegedly that night. Okay. Jesus Christ. How do I even explain this? Actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I got to give you a quick TLDR. Salvo Pancakes is a crazy person that used to live stream with Keem. Salvo, yep. um, Salvo is married, right? Salvo is in a committed marriage, and his response to this was um, w- was that he never had sex with anybody, right? But <laughs> well, allegedly, like, <laughs> like w- with Edward in particular, but allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, they had gay sex at Keemstar's house, and it was like big. Cri- <laughs> Doesn't Edward also have a girlfriend? Amazon parent. This is exactly the girl that had sex between Edward and Salvo, right? So they allegedly all sat down <laughs> together and had a fucking threesome, and you know, ruined the marriage and made this girl super uncomfortable, right? But Edwin was really mad about the gay allegations that were brought against him. Not the marriage he ruined, but that people thought he liked cock, right? So, mm. so, so here, here is an interview with Edwin um, as he explains that he never had sex with anybody. So now, now Toxic, uh, do you understand what's going on? I, as much as I can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wait, is that is that Salvo on the right? That though? is that is Salvo. Yes, he looks he looks malicious. He looks evil. Oh yeah, <laughs> you have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what hasn't he done? He's doxed people. He's taken his dick out while driving. We'll get there. Don't worry. Oh um, god. Okay. Okay. But yeah, he he's he's like the Rizzler's right hand man. Okay. He's a he's a co rizzler with with the rizzler himself, but okay, okay, all right. Yeah. I, f- I feel up to date. Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel up to date. I have no idea. What's I feel going ready. On. Nick oh, burnt I... me. What am I gonna say then? So that's, well, that's, can... that's Edwin on the line right now, um, and Nicholas Diorio is another drama YouTuber. I don't know. It's like dodgeball in here with questions all night. Um, I guess Xylee's question to you, Edwin, is if you were like part of Salvo's cheating. Why did you go and say that he had like such a loving relationship with his wife and stuff like that? I, I don't really understand that perspective because well, like the- it's your you're privy to things that you did with Salvo, right? But both could be true. Like, what is he sure. saying? No, 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 no. So he went on saying like, oh, I- oh I should mention you're oh, gonna hear God. that a bunch, right? That's just what their, is that? Like, their donation sound. I think it was somebody having oh, like, a, a, like a shit fit or something. <laughs> Oh god, there's okay, I thought it was part of the call. <laughs> no, 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 so there's like a couple of them. I, I don't remember the specifics on everybody's fucking tea, but... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't? Isn't that your whole job, Diesel? Yeah, but like, some of it's cringe and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's funny that this guy has like a, a meltdown because of the gay sex he allegedly had. <laughs> 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 but like, some of it's like really weird, where it's like a guy's a cuck... And so everybody sits around and complains about him being a cuck. I mean, I have no problem with cucks. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Good well, to know. Well, you were saying that, you know, we need to be sex positive for the degenerate audience. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, we, well, we thank you. Down. Thank you for embracing my culture. Not the, you know, cuck-specific could, part, but the, uh, the degeneracy. <laughs> Wait, so who's the who's the guy asking questions right now? Okay, okay. So that's Tommy C, right? He and he's like uh uh he's like Howard Stern but for drama YouTube. Mhm. Okay. Right. So that's what he does. So he's like v- very based. Well, he's based in a boomer way. He's the boomer based. So not yeah, not okay. good, but I I like <laughs> Tommy. I should clarify. I don't think Tommy's a bad guy. <laughs> He'll say mean things about me if I say mean things about him. All right, so we like Tommy. Okay, we, we, we like, like Tommy. Tommy. Good. We like Tommy and yeah. we like Nicholas Diorio. Okay, so there we okay. go. So Nick is coming in and he's about to question Edwin on whether or not he had sex with Salvo. He didn't know Salvo mm-hmm. cheated. He had a loving relationship with his wife. So that's pretty clearly... If Edwin's involved is, with is that, the cheating... Is that my direct quote? Like, I need to see what I actually said because I don't know that I said... I didn't know that he cheated and he had such a loving relationship. You said you didn't know about the cheating multiple times, yeah. 
in your defense, you did have a few drinks. Um, yeah, I had a lot of drinks, and like I'm saying, my hard line was the sexting like the fans and stuff. I definitely yeah, said but that part, okay, so sexting fans is like pretty cringe, but like actual like, <laughs> physical sexual activity is a lot worse, right? Sexting fans is pretty cringe. <laughs> What a way to describe that. Which, by the way, Edwin, <laughs> to my knowledge, allegedly was also sexting fans. So he's saying that he doesn't do that, and he's publicly decrying it while he's doing it in private. But yeah, okay. Like you I hear said, a lot about that, though, right? Yeah, like, I mean, it happens a lot. <laughs> I, I'm of two ways about it. Like it's cringe, but then on the other hand, it's like celebrities do it all the time so why are youtubers held to such a strange standard i get it, it really depends on like the fan and the individual like the interaction determines whether or not it's okay in my opinion as a drama youtuber right i mean you get it a lot as well right from the ones i hear they're often fucking underage yeah so yeah. uh <laughs> yeah they they accost themselves onto a youtuber toxic doesn't sound like a person who draws goblin porn for a living damn <laughs> What what should Damn, that really? person okay. sound like? Like, oh, I'm gonna draw fucking <laughs> short stack women. Oh, like <laughs> oh, boobies. Yeah, that's what you would sound like. <laughs> like a goblin. Oh, so you're supposed to sound like a goblin. I don't know. British people are goblins, sort of, kind of, right? Uh, gonna... Goblin does run in our blood. Yeah, yeah. it's. Uh... It's gonna be. I've a trained lot of for years, slander. actually. To uh, suppress the goblin in my voice, like Danny DeVito. <laughs> like Danny DeVito, you know your culture's respected here. I will say that I did say that I should be allowed to microwave water. Um, no, you're gonna make me sick. You're gonna make me throw up. <laughs> I okay, okay, chat. Toxic, Toxic's argument for why you can't microwave water is that the <laughs> microwave is filled with food air. But I said if tell I, me I'm wrong. <laughs> Yeah, but the kitchen is filled with food air. So why is the microwave's food air different from the kitchen's <laughs> food air? <laughs> microwaves, it's a small space condensed with with food air. Kitchen is, you know, universal air. You you, you can make all sorts of drinks in the kitchen, but in the in the <laughs> in the microwave, that's food. That's food air. But it's yeah, I mean, it, it it has a door to this like little dimension for food but what <laughs> what happens so, <laughs> when you open the microwave door does the food air not leave no there's a there's a uh, invisible wall it's like a fog gate <laughs> <laughs> bro that's like saying microwave food tastes the same as stove food i'm not talking about i'm talking about boiling water in the microwave chat <laughs> But Look, something tells me it would taste different. I, I haven't had microwave tea, and I never want to. I imagine it would taste like reheated lasagna or something. I'm going to have microwave water today to test out this theory, because I need to know for certain <laughs> at this rate, because I keep thinking about it. So if he was physical with you in any way, wouldn't that be the cheating? Why would you go on stream and say that's not the case? Well, we kissed on camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Salvo and Edwin also had a platonic kiss on camera. You know. Okay, how you, did that come about? I don't know. He just kissed his homie on the lips. You know, that's cool, but uh, <laughs> but why? Well, th th <laughs> here, here's the problem is that Edwin is about to try and fight the gay allegations because apparently it bothers him. <laughs> um, and I, I will show you a video in a sec after this one that's edwin talking about how he wants to kiss a guy but that he's not gay <laughs> wait so is he trying to use the the fact they kissed on camera to uh, prove that he's not gay yes yeah that's what i think right i think he we're gonna find out that edwin likes to express his fetishes through the content he made you know like when a person makes a cartoon and it's like a you know like totally spies right where they had like the tickle mm -hmm. feet episode oh dude it's like that so much he makes feet content in cartoons like <laughs> Okay. Right? So so it's going to be like that. So it's going to be like him talking about how much he likes calling women a good girl, but it's just content and it's not Yeah. weird, you know, but it's definitely Is that why he is that why he sex them off screen as well? It's, you know, for yeah, the yeah, content. Yeah. It, it was it should yeah. have been the sign, you know. There were signs that the Rizzler was among us. So <laughs> something something among us joke there too. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is Keemstar lying about you hooking up with Salvo? And you said no, at his house is true. Salvo didn't no, deny that in the that. beginning. Okay, no, we didn't hook up. 
Okay, there was a night with with uh, with with Babs, but that's not me and Salvo directly. Wait a minute. He told you thirty minutes. I said, are ago. you hooking up with Salvo? You said at the house is true. What are you talking about? I was referring to whatever I was listening to at the time of. I don't know. Maybe I answered mix, but I'm. Listen, what the what, fuck are you talking Jesus. about, dude? What is Salvo Nick? Like? Well, I am very lost. Was... <laughs> so, so, what so, the fuck Nick, is he t- <laughs> Nick in private <laughs> asked Edwin, "Did you hook up with Salvo?" In private, he says, and he yes, said yes. But it publicly, he's saying no. <laughs> I, like, I, how can you? Uh, whatever, whatever. He, he lied thirty <laughs> minutes apart. That's how close the lie is. <laughs> Damn! Like, at least let it steep for a couple days. Congrats, Damn, Edwin. Okay. We support you. Shout out, shout out to Edwin <laughs> for uh, coming forward. You know, we kissed the homies good night here in the FPS. Yeah, Diesel why show. can't he just be for real about it? You know? know, that's that's what I was thinking. It was like if he was just like, yeah, we hooked up. Like nobody would fucking care. But because he needed to like try and pull some shenanigans with it, Edwin Gay Icon. <laughs> that fucking you and Salvo had like that you suck Salvo's dick. No, so I asked you what? if that was the case, and you said. <laughs> Yes. Can you no, pull that, not, Nick? Not, you, pull up the screenshot. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll apologize right fucking now if I read this wrong. Nick, Nick, pull up the screenshot. Failing. I just sent it to Matt. I'm really right, fucking confused. Send it to me. Send it to me. Right I'll put it on. My dick was right never now. sucked by anyone. Anyone. <laughs> 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 oh shit. <laughs> Oh man, that was said with passion. D- the thing is, is Salvo is like, he he constantly says, "I never had sex with anyone. I never hooked up with anyone," <laughs> and and like this these messages that leaked of like Salvo being into water sports, you know. So mm-hmm. he was like, "Oh damn, girl, your piss is so yellow." Like your, <laughs> <laughs> so so this shit like that yeah. got leaked. Um. And he's like, okay. I can't, he's like, I can't talk to Keemstar. My lawyer said I can't talk to Keemstar. I should also mention Salvo, to my knowledge, is still being sued by Keemstar for breaking his NDA, right? So Salvo's on the hook for like over twenty thousand dollars because he's an idiot. Wait, for like, wait, is this NDA for, t- for you know leaking that they had sex or is it a other no, thing? no no no? So Edwin, not Edwin, Salvo is privy to information regarding Keem that mm-hmm. cannot be shared publicly uh, but he shared it publicly so that broke the nda he lost his money and now he has to pay keem back the money that he made via the keem star show wait did he did he leak it because you know he they fell out or was it just a uh, fuck you he, Sal, salvo got like uh drunk with his minor internet fame um and he had mm-hmm. like this whole group chat he had like an online harem of like women <laughs> um damn okay yeah sounds good so there was like that uh salvo was like involved with doxing people there's a term in the drama community called gay ops right it's where a bunch mm-hmm. of people get in a group chat and plan shenanigans to try and screw people over kind of thing uh uh-huh, okay so you were just taking a shower after you guys went out drinking for the night you left your ring in the guest room no, um, then Edwin. The, so Nick, you guys Nick, crawled into Nick, bed Nick, with the girl. Nick, that's not the same night. I, well, I think that you told me that you. Had... No, I never fucking told you. That. I, never... <laughs> I mean, wait. So I, I just I don't understand. What do you what think he was referring? I you feel say, like I just like. Am okay. I fucking crazy? No, Nick, you're just you're just misunderstanding and creating your your own conclusion here. Just remember back to the part where Salvo described the bedroom. You know, there's this giant bed. You know, Michael Jackson style in the living room. It, uh, you know. Salvo was on one side, Babs was in the middle, I was on the other side. Like, that's not me and Salvo fucking. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. So you were spit roasting the girl in the living room, like, <laughs> like Michael Jackson style bed, apparently, too. Style. Oh man, that doesn't that's like a terrible <laughs> illusion in my head, you know? Like, <laughs> like like you're making love and, and you're staring at your homie at the other end, like that. Like <laughs> Hey man, you you do you, but the problem is, is that Edwin's hi- like hiding it. Like, why? Why hide it? Yeah, that's that's the that's the weird thing here. If he if he didn't feel so uh, like ashamed about it, like 
I don't, I don't know. It wouldn't be a big deal. I, I find it so funny that he's so ashamed because he, he acts very sex positive in some of the old videos. I, mean, I wouldn't even say mm-hmm. sex positive. I'd say overly sexual, like to the point where it's like you, you cringe at how forward he is. But, but he's about he, to have yeah. a big meltdown, right? Oh, okay. Amazon parrot. It's not gay if they don't touch. <laughs> I mean, they did have a, a girl in between them, right? So they, well, here's the thing. I don't. I don't think it's. I think they actually just had like sex. <laughs> and they're just like trying to like hit some cope here by saying it's not gay because she was in the room with us when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was a woman involved, therefore not gay. The the woman was sitting in the sneako cuck chair, so it was okay. <laughs> Oh, I heard about some text messages. Yeah, you also watched him fuck your girlfriend, you you cock. Fuck you, Nick. Whoa. How about that? (laughs) (laughs) Wait, it's just devolved into yelling, fuck you. I like I like when Edward just yells where he's just like, Woo! <laughs> like, like he's, so, <laughs> he's so overwhelmed emotionally that it's just words have escaped his body. <laughs> like stick that up your ass, man. I never fucked anyone. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can hear his grin. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Salvo, if your wife was was drinking piss from another man's penis. Would you be okay with that? <laughs> <laughs> what this is so fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, like, if it was all agreed upon, you know, if it was all consensual with everyone involved, with you know, with the wife, uh, this shit should be private and left that way. But. If this uh, Salvo fella, you know, he's he's claiming to be super faithful, then this is just fucking weird. Yeah, I mean, if they had, like, a marriage, but it was, like, open thing, and they were, like, super bohemian about it, that's fine. But there's, like, also this other stuff, like, revolving around Salvo, where, um, l- like I said, he has, like, the online e-harem, and all these women thought they were in monogamous <laughs> relationships with him. And they were all, Jesus like, Christ. broke. they were all broken up about it after. And it's, like... The messages that leaked after were like really weird where this guy was just talking about like fucking fucking the piss and the poo and the Oh no. Shit that is super weird. Um, Did um was Edwin the one who like originally leaked it then? Or was it Keem? Uh it it was definitely Keem. Keem probably was like, yeah, this cuz Keem gets on here and I'm not sure if it's this stream or like another one. Let's see if this is it. Where Keem gets on and he like divulges more info about it. But Keem was like good friends with Salvo and he was really bent about all the shit that Salvo spilled. I have a question. If all the people involved in this conversation had their teeth knocked out with a baseball bat, would anyone care? That is an insane thing to say. We do not approve of violence here. I mean, but are they wrong? I don't mind Tommy. We like Tommy, right? We We like like Tommy. Tommy. We like Nick. (laughs) Okay. I don't mind Keem, but he has insulted me to my face before, and it hurt. And then that somehow <coughs> led into Froggy Fresh taking a dunk on me on Twitter, which, by the way, Toxic, if you didn't know, do you know who Froggy Fresh is? Mm-mm. Uh, he used I'm out to be, the loop. He used to be called Krispy Kreme. He has a song called I Am the Baddest of Them All. He was on Tosh.0 back in the day. He's an old school meme. Uh, okay. But he's fighting in Creator Clash. And he took a dunk on me on Twitter. Um, so that sucked. Did it hurt? It did hurt. I was actually... It was a vent tweet. And he dunked on me on a vent tweet. And so I was like double Ooh, hurt. Oh, ouch. Yeah. And uh, I, call, I called a drama friend of mine. And he was like, don't say anything, Diesel. <laughs> Wait, you were advised to stay out of the situation? I was advised not to have a gamer moment and clap back. <laughs> so, so I didn't clap back. I did clap back on stream like a month later. You, know, <laughs> you just I, had to get the loss hidden. I I had to say something, you know. It was like <laughs> it was mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. Opinions on why is Keem loud? Are have you been on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> He's the loudest man on planet Earth. It's the big K. Is he that loud in real life? Um, I've been 
on a few fucking literally we're just chilling playing sea of thieves and he joins and he's like loud as fuck <laughs> uh, so he's just loud all the time <laughs> You don't the want the fucking exclusive, Tommy. How much do I gotta do for you? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Keem is so quid pro quo with everything. Like, fucking, you pick this guy's fucking. You li like, like he gets you a lunch. He's like, look at all the things I've done for you. How could you do this to me? It's like, <laughs> you bought me a sandwich. I would, I would meet Keem Saw, but like, I think he'd make me cry. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> I like Brantley. It would be funny for the meme, though. It would be. I like Brantley's girlfriend. She's nice. She's a. She's oh, really? A, she's a Southern belle. She's got the Southern accent. She's like, Edwin, honey, I'm going to pray for you. And I'm like, oh, man, Brantley, that's nice, but no prayers can save him. You know, but Damn. you can use this. <laughs> Wait, this is Keemstar's girlfriend? Yes. She's actually nice? That's wild. Yeah, she's actually nice. But she, I mean, it's, I, I will say it's genuinely cute where she's like, Oh, I love my man, and it's like <laughs> her and Keemstar. Uh, I, but like, how good can she actually be if she she's with him? I I don't you know opposites attract or whatever whatever. That, uh, that's fair. That's fair. I I talked to Keemstar one time, and he got on the topic of like, why didn't uh? So did you see that like we shot down this Chinese spy balloon like a month ago? Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He he was like, "Why didn't they just fire a net at it and catch it <laughs> in a net?" And all I like, I couldn't get a word out edgewise, but all I could think was like, "Keemstar is the size of multiple buses. What what kind? Well, like a comically large net would need to be dropped on it. Like, what are you talking about?" <laughs> so we're gonna move That's on right. to the old stuff from Edwin, right? So this is where you really see his rizzling and ax action. Um, okay, how old are we talking? Uh, like this is like 2016, so this is like the edgy era oh, wow. of YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, now I'm picturing Goblin Keemstar porn. No, he'll block me even if I'm just like tangentially related to that. Okay. Like, <laughs> there was a... What if I made it soft core? <laughs> hey, Keem would like toxic art. He's a gnome. She draws Goblin. They're both short. <laughs> Wait, is Keem short? Keem is, yeah, he's short. He's like five five or something like that. So he's a oh short my God. kid. Yeah, he's border that. he's bordering on pocket prince territory. So, Aww. uh Keem got really mad at a guy for posting. So just like these gay porn stars that look like Keem, and um, <laughs> he got like really mad when somebody posted Keem star spread eagle on like a train track. <laughs> Um, I mean, that guy was double cheeked up, and I, I know Keemstar ain't packing a whole bakery in his ass, so it was definitely not Keem, but he was really heated about that. Anyway. No, that would be kind of cool, actually, like having a fucking gay porn doppelganger. He should embrace it. People people say I look like, um, what is it, Chris Raygun, and they also say I look, oh, shit. yeah. So, Toxic, now we're going to watch a video that says, guys that don't eat out, sexuality talk. Sexual, sexual Saturday. Saturday number four. Okay. Yeah. So that's Seer, his best friend. Uh, God, I they, remember Seer. <laughs> they were in a polycule relationship with these two women that dressed like twins. Mm -hmm. um, and one that's of the, one of the girls uh, wanted to like become the other girl because she felt the other girl was prettier. So she went on drama forums and would talk mad shit about this girl. <laughs> And and Seer would pay for her to do all this cringe shit on the internet. Um, okay, wait. He was he just funding it for his own enjoyment? Yeah, yeah. Or well, for, well you know, for Seer, the content? Seer, Seer is like a little beta beta bitch boy, right? Um. Mm -hmm. So he um. He he would just he would just fund it so that way this chick that he was dating could like insult the other chick, you know, because okay. he was just down bad that way. But Wait, but if they're in a polycule, don't they all, you no, know, no, no, like each they, other? Because they had a falling out in the in their. Oh. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I mean, how selfish could you be? People are so selfish. It is incredible to me that there are men who are repulsed by a vagina. They're just repulsed by the vagina. So loud. I understand that sometimes the vagina smells a little too fishy, and what's up with that? Bro. Yeah, like, there's no way it's never too fishy. This should Bro. never be too fishy. What a fucking to start. <laughs> Men who have no sex be talking about vaginas like in the weirdest uh, way, bro. I swear dude. to God. <laughs> okay, I actually learned something recently. Apparently, 
the uh, the fishy smell can actually come from the penis going inside not being well cleaned enough, and that it has this like fucking chemical reaction because you got the uh, the acidic pussy and then like the alkaline dick. What? They don't <laughs> match well together. Oh, <laughs> so, so if they're if they're smelling fish, could be could be their own fault. You hear that, Fun fellas? Fact. Wash your balls and your cock. <laughs> Wash How... under the foreskin, please. Unless you're in America, then you lost it a long time ago. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you gotta go on a vision quest to find it again. Least taste. And if it's too fishy, put tartar sauce on it. I digress. How selfish okay. is it that guys will object to going down on a girl? Ah, it's so selfish that they don't want to go down on a girl. Why would you not want to go down on a girl? I'm only gonna say this here on your channel. There is nothing more exciting to me than going down on a girl. God, that, now that's on the internet. Why should that be incriminating? Oh, why? Why? It's like me saying I like to give my best friend a massage. <laughs> Except it's not like that. Uh, it, it feels good, it sweats well, you know, and I like that wait, once you're inside. Wait, hold on. Why Why are they acting at all like anyone ever says going down on women is a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> because they want to they wanna tell their female audience that they're, they're fucking, they're ready, they're ready. That's it. They're, like, this is them saying they want action. Okay. Just, I, I just, when has anyone ever said, like, oh, going down on women? Pfft, who does that? This is what, okay, yeah. I guess it's them, yeah, advertising to the... <laughs> I also get the, the comment about gay men being repulsed by it and ace men. That's fair enough, but, like, I assume this is meant to be coming from straight men who do want to go down on women. Yeah. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> Moist teeth. Having sex is cring. I see you watch Kristen Ark as well. <laughs> well, if you have your fingers inside, you can feel it like inflating on the inside. It's gross. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't understand how some guy. <laughs> the inflating pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. It's like why don't they want to go down? I think I like to give just a little bit. Maybe. Oh, no, I, maybe equal. I like to give and receive. I not, could give and not receive and be stoked. Me too, me too. Yeah. Good girl, make you bad, you know? That's what I like. Oh my god, and the squirting That was girl, very uncomfortable. Like, oh, he does it more, he does it more. No, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, <laughs> like, I, I, I don't have problems with, like, people who do, like, uh, DDLG stuff, um... But he got, he got reamed from commentary for having, like, a DDLG relationship um mm. but that's why he says good girl because he yeah. he calls the squishmallow girlfriend a uh, good girl all the time i know someone <laughs> yeah, okay. who has an armpit fetish i never knew such a thing existed that's like pretty common actually. yeah it's pretty common yeah i've been seeing more and more recently like obviously because of you know porn twitter like vaginas in armpits doesn't do it for me though but yeah i know yeah, armpits are, are very common it's just like how feet are like super common and then people always like cring out at a uh, feet. I mean like feet there's like there is a like a reason for it. It's like a crossed wire in the brain cuz your feet the your thoughts about feet are so close to uh like where the genitals are in the brain or something like that and then the wires just get crossed and you have the same attraction to feet as you do to genitals. See toxic this is why it's good to have you on. It's like <laughs> my chat is learning. <laughs> Wait, there's these really wild pictures. I'll see if I can find one to send oh you. Uh, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, Just no, it's not sure, a porn thing. It's make sure you don't send it in general. <laughs> <laughs> wait, it's not a, it's not a porn thing. Wait, we're learning all kinds of cursed knowledge from Toxic. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> You're I, welcome. This is, this is why I wanted to do Edwin because some of his like sex talk is like super cringe. I'm sex positive, but this guy is cringe. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I'm very open to people f fetishes, but when they're when they're like this, it's a little uncomfy. <laughs> oh god! Oh fucking hell! This kind of conversation. No, it's good. There's nothing wrong with talking about sexuality. I think there should be no boundaries. Then we grew up in this world of tabooness, and it's like, what? Without sexuality and talk about sexuality, we grew up in this world of tabooness where. We're too afraid to bring it up. I could have sex if I wanted to, but I, I, for some reason, I don't. There's nothing wrong with not having sex, Edwin. And you know what? You don't need to give in to the pressure of the men saying, smash it, bro, smash it. Yeah. You don't need to smash it if you don't want to. You know what I mean? I could smash. 
That's what it is, and you haven't felt felt in love. I want her to feel the love of my penis. <laughs> I think what I want to do, I was, I want to practice like. Uh, what an unsexy way to talk about sex. I want to mm-hmm. make love with my penis. Shut up, bro. Stop. Your Spider Man gauges. Ah. <laughs> Some of the moist teeth. I'm about to become sex negative. <laughs> Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> yeah, 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 it do be that way. So I want to yeah. go down on her first. I guess that's what's in my mind. I want to go down on her. Yeah. And then after that, maybe we'll think about sex, but I don't want to skip it. I want to make her orgasm with my tongue and my finger. Yeah. yeah. I'm a virgin. I don't know what you any of this don't. is. Yeah, right. And girls can have hairy legs if they want. That's not yeah, that bad. <laughs> what, a, what a weird out-of-pocket sentence. <laughs> They're really trying to get the female what? vote hit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even hear that the first time I watched this. Why did he say that about legs? He's like, please, please let me have sex with you. I don't care if you have hairy legs, please. <laughs> please, please, I love your hairy legs. I will do anything <laughs> for some head. Literally. That's... It's such a weird thing to just bring up. <laughs> it, it literally has nothing to do with the rest of this. Like, oh, be easy about it. Ugh. Sorry, just the way the way they're talking about it, so uncomfy, man. Like, <laughs> I'm feeling the 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 chat here going dry. I am definitely going dry from this. Everything, bro? No, you don't have to. Be. And I want to clarify, just because I I could have sex and I don't do it, it does not make me a little bitch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can get laid. Yeah. I can get laid. I, I can. I can get laid. Only a little bitch would say that. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with sex and there's nothing this wrong like, with- There's like a weird <laughs> sexual tension between these two. That like. really is. They want to fuck so bad right now. <laughs> oh my they God. are holding back. Not sex. Guys, remember to go down on your girl. Buy her chocolate, take her out, make her feel real good. Yeah. And women, ask the guy to go down on you. Tell him what feels right. That's also a problem, girls. Oh don't yeah, wanna... communicate. Yeah, tell him. Oh yeah, down like that. Oh, keep going, keep yeah. going. But don't get frustrated. Tell them how you like it. Communication is the best thing in the world. Oh, yeah. Talk to me. Control their hair with your hands. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. I, I bet I'm a virgin. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening to our sex talk of the week. Sex Talk Saturday with Edwin and Seer. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and maybe we can do some more sexual talk. I have no freaking... I, I have no doors. Leave a comment. What other topics could I cover? How many likes do you think we can get? Ah, uh, man, don't cover any other topics, Edward. Mm, the thing is, like, the message of what they're trying to say is fine. It's good, even. But the way they're doing it is deeply strange. As we all know, YouTubers are great for giving sex ed advice. There's no possible way that could go wrong. Yeah, they're all sex gods and never do anything wrong. It's okay to be scared in a dark alley by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another Sexual Saturday. This week I have a very special guest. What's up, motherfuckers? I oh spit everywhere, dude. It's like we just kiss. I don't even need to. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, they're not even gay allegations. It's just gay confirmations at this rate. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he should honestly he should just have owned it. He really should have. It would have gone so much better for him. <laughs> exactly. And he'd have a gay icon. He could have. He could have like spun it into some weird like, you know, like clout. Like game. a coming out yeah, story, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Coming out and story. Then, yeah. Yeah. Answer the lifelong question: Does penis size matter? No. Yes. 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 And no. Yes and yes. Mostly no. Penises come in all shapes and sizes. And in Edwin's case, really small. <laughs> Dude, what? You Yo. don't know that. Yo, dog, one time I walked in the bathroom and Edwin's just like, Pete, and I walk in and I was like, oh my god, and I saw his penis. And I've never forgotten it. What the fuck? Mmm. This guy, this guy is hard for Edwin. Oh my god. This guy, this, this what's his name? Damon Fizzy? I think he's a streamer now. Uh, but holy shit. <laughs> He's coming in hard with the small dick take. God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's into him. Edwin would know a lot about penis sizes. Yeah, him and him and Salvo compared. They got out the ruler and everything. Homies <laughs> get together and they do that. They go, "All right, everybody get hard." And then they measure. I wish Diesel loved us. He stopped showing this to us. 
well, well. Yeah, I feel that because you know you've dragged me onto my first ever stream here, and this is what you show me. This is this is funny. <laughs> you don't sound enthusiastic about it. <laughs> this is draining my will to live. Nah, bro. Motherfuckers with micro penises have the weirdest surplus of riz. All right. I can Small see that. dick guy has been found in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> This is a guy. His name's Darius, right? Oh man, that'll be another one. We, <laughs> you get you toxic. You gotta come back. Oh, There's no. a guy called Darius, and he like simps for women really hard, and he simps mm -hmm. for this girl named Lav, and she's involved in like the Destiny drama. That that's like a whole thing, right? Oh, God. But he okay, simps for right. this girl named Lav, and um, she does like educational OnlyFans, and he's like, he's like, what the fuck is this shit? Blah, blah, blah. He's like, I'm trying to simp, blah, 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 watch porn and yada, yada. And he's like bitching that her like education, she reviews a bunch of sex toys and uses them. But she's like trying mm -hmm. to like phrase it as if it's like an educational video. And okay. he, he's like calling it like all these things. And then he says the N word and he's like, well, I'm actually black. I'm, I can say N word. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and he's oh, like, no. he's like this white guy with this like pencil thin <laughs> mustache. <laughs> Oh no! But he's he's a good one. He he also said that he would go trans for clout. Um, there was one girl. She just tweeted a picture of herself, and he responded. He's like, "I'd whip my dick over you so hard, like <laughs> it's insane." He's super crazy. <sighs> he tattooed Damn. himself on stream. So, what did he tattoo? Uh, picture of Destiny. Wait, you <sighs> you know who Destiny is too, right? Um, wait. I might need to when I look up. Hold up. You, uh, Destiny streamer. Nope, I actually don't know this person. Oh, he's like the biggest political streamer. Oh, like, yeah. okay. So is it is. like more recent politics? Because I used to know some of the older ones, but uh, he's been around a bit. He did like that crazy debate with John Tron back in the day. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, but he had like a falling out with Hassan and all that. And there's a guy called Mister Girl who he has like beef with. And I think Mister Girl likes the movie Cuties, which is. Like the pedophile oh, movie. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's like a whole bunch of tea there as well. That's like insane. Hallelujah. How did it make you feel though? It made me feel like mine was a lot bigger. I was like, holy, I always thought I had a small penis until Edwin, you changed my life, dude. <laughs> no, you're welcome. This I always guy, drop these tweets like, oh my God. This guy definitely has a small penis. You think Damon, Damon isn't packing heat? I think he's packing heat. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I think he's packing a magnum in there, okay? <laughs> I, I fucking from a distance it looks like he's a tripod, you know? Like that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Wait, but why? Why do you think that? Cause he's like so cocky, like it wraps around again. It's like the horseshoe theory, you know, it just wraps around. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> alright, alright, okay, okay. So he's gone so far on the cocky end that he actually does have a giant schlong. Yeah. I, and also I think he takes his pants off in this video. So we'll Cool. We'll, You're gonna we'll see a bit see. of we'll bulge see a action. silhouette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. I have a small penis, and then I saw Edwin's, and now I'm like, dude, mine is large. <laughs> large? Yeah. Old. You became an XL. You saved my life, dude. No, honestly, you changed everything. I actually have a good sized penis, so you must have a ginormous one. Uh, yeah. Does penis size matter? Um, I mean, when when I, I mean, was... tell me. Did, what what are people's reviews? I actually got good good reviews. You know, yeah. girls like my penis. They're like, oh, it feels so good. <laughs> 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 Motherfucker's got reviews on his uh, dick. <laughs> oh man, my my dick has a five star Yelp review. <laughs> There's, it's like weird. It's like coping. He's like coping with his dick. Like, <laughs> that me. I'm like, oh god. They like the sex. That was back when I used to have sex, like over a year ago. <laughs> they like the sex. And also, you know, sometimes when you gotta compensate, you gotta really do the foreplay. Not. <laughs> You're saying your penis doesn't work. Like it doesn't actually do anything. That was not real. That you said foreplay. Oh, I didn't mean that. You said you have to be a foreplay. Which means your sweet, your penis is actually not doing the job, dog. My penis does good. I'm a, <laughs> don't make a good girl bad. Um, Usually girls make me bad. I don't think penis size matters. You know, if you really think about the perspective of life, I think it's about you know the personality. And you know, if you just sit there while you're having sex and provide your personality as you're having sex, maybe. <laughs> like what a weird, <laughs> what a weird shot. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Why is he stood like that? I don't know. <laughs>
<laughs> he looks like the fucking standing emoji. <laughs> And yeah, he did slap Edwin's ass. Um, Replay it. I want to see it again. Get a slap action. Yeah. All right. While you're having sex and provide your personality as you're having sex, maybe that's... That wasn't even like a slap. It was like a gentle <laughs> that's just tap. That's a, little, a little, little touch there. That was yeah. a touchy-feely. That was a playful. He was... It was that's affirmative consent right there. They're like, Hoo -hoo. A little bit, add some humor in there, and do a good thing, like donate to charity while you're having sex. Like on the computer? Yeah, on the computer. Just show that you're a good person. That's what really matters, personality, not penis size. While you're thrusting, just be like, hey, by the way, I donated to charity yeah, last today week. I donated $300 to charity. Yeah, I gave a homeless guy a dollar. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> Girls do like to brag about penises and put penises down, but guys that have small penis, all you Asians out there, don't feel bad about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Not the Asian slander. Oh my god. Uh, it's from all the uncomfortable sex talk to just racism. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this this is like weird like cope. Like it, it sounds like his last relationship ended because his dick was small. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they don't have sex and talk about children's charities. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> <laughs> imagine you're just like doing it with someone chat and, and then and you're just gassing yourself up the entire time you're like i'm an amazing man like what is this patrick bateman shit okay like that's <laughs> fucking like oh yeah let's go to dorcia after this what I'm, I'm pretty sure other people have small penises not just Asian. they are black people with small penises too it's unbelievable that would suck. <laughs> oh my god all right, the backtracking on the racism. Oh, man. All right, guys, it's not racist. Black people can have small penises, too, okay? It's it's fine, guys. Exactly. <laughs> no, because everyone hypes up black people. Like, yo, I got a big dick. If you're a black guy with a small penis, I'm so sorry. I don't <laughs> Oh, my God. No, it's just <laughs> racist again. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, you can't... We can't say those things. <laughs> They just keep digging deeper. Oh, man. They, they they know what they said was bad, but they're, like, trying to walk it back. <laughs> yeah. just, like, Wait, but this isn't even, it. like, a live thing. They could have just not. They could have just cut all this out. You know, when you, make a, when you make a mistake in a drawing, you don't control Z, right? You just draw over it. That's true. Yeah, you just keep drawing over and over the top until you get it right. <laughs> Doesn't make it worse. You know, a bad angle. That's it's probably the angle I saw. Yeah. And it was dark, you know, and you were Dude, peeing. Like, it's exactly. not going to be, like, big when you're peeing. Exactly. That's what it is, yeah. The, the only time it's We've got conflict thing, resolution him. <laughs> His dick's not small. The angle was bad. And it was, it was dark. dark. Yeah. Yeah, and he wasn't hard. It wasn't the optimal setting yeah, for his exactly. penis. exactly. Put respect on my man's name. <laughs> Do you that was think fast. my penis is small? Well, you know, maybe I just saw it at, like, a bad angle. You know? Maybe it was the lighting, you know? Yeah. Like, cause... Maybe, it, after all, it is a good size, and I just didn't get a right, like, peek at it. I think it grows beautifully. You should see it when it's fully erect, not when I'm peeing. Then you can be a better judge. You want to see it now? Yeah. Okay. I'd love to. I thought, I, I thought you would never ask. We have to get it hard first. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Will dude? you help me? This is not the video. This is the video, dude. This is not the video. For the video, will you touch it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my god. god, dude! Wow, I feel much better right, about my it penis. Happened. I could put it in anything. <laughs> this is this is the sexy out of Keemstar. <laughs> do you do this to your viewers often? I I love looking at cringe. It's mm -hmm. so good. Man, I watched an hour-long documentary on a guy who said he was from the year thirty thirty-six. Uh, yeah, I'm reading through reading through the chat right now. They they're not happy with you. I'm full of rage. I yeah. can see why Keemstar wasn't so happy. He, Keemstar was mad because the sex was bad. He's just assuming it was bad. That's why he was mad. You know, he didn't care that people had sex in his house. <laughs> <laughs> it was that it was assumedly bad. This is the weirdest softcore gay porn I've watched. I mean, I've not watched any but yeah i mean i can't disagree <laughs> i like how you said yeah like you were teeing up a dunk on me <laughs> <laughs> no dunk cued <laughs> i mean more genuine like curious yeah, bleh, bleh, jesus curiosity have you like actually never witnessed any gay porn i mean not like 
of my own volition, but you know, sometimes pop up ads exist on the internet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Toxic, make him stop these videos, please. It hurts. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm going to assume anyone who is here is a masochist, and therefore you want the pain that's coming from these videos. I'm going to celebrate. I feel good. Na, 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 na. About my penis. Should I tell him that it's actually not that big? Wait, what? We should just look at this as a good thing because if you tell everyone you have a small penis, when and they then, actually see it, yeah, their expectations are very low, and they're like, uh -huh. I wonder if anyone really has a small dick, and then they sleep with you, and they're like, that wasn't that bad after all, and then get a good yell from Life you hack. about your penis. <laughs> Come on, baby, you know? yeah. <laughs> You just you just really lower everybody's expectations so they're pleasantly surprised when they have sex with you. <laughs> I'm only here because funny little goblin lady. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is my stream. <laughs> I'm the main character. I'm funny. <laughs> I'm just a, I'm just the side character. <laughs> Happens to be tagging along. Diesel death drops large piles of snow on children. No, I'm in my villain arc. I said this on the last stream, okay? I said that if I was in charge of humanity, everything would be perfect and we'd have no problems. Oh, that's what you said. Yeah, yeah. you're like, I'm grower. a grower, not a shower. And you're, you're, you're probably I, a shower, I mean. I've, I've never... Uh, Does yours even extend? Is it always just like super snake size or what? <laughs> No, dude, it's always like huge, dude. I was born with what, this. What is this, bro? Is that? Yeah, it's that big. Yep. Yeah, you want to see it? Don't slap me with that. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I hope I gave the guys a little. Yo, I want to thank you guys for watching a whole fucking video about penises. I hope it really changed well, your life. Well, dude, even you said that you used to think you had a small penis. No, my first girlfriend, uh, she wanted to like, you know, see my penis, and I was shaking. I was so afraid because I thought it was so tiny at the time. I was like a kid, so it was really tiny. And then I was shaking, and she just took ah, it. And I was so afraid. Ah, oh my god, there it is. Really it, oh my god. God. Okay. <laughs> Talking about having fucking someone see your penis as a child, and then the the thing it comes out it's there on the screen, front and center. That is mm, good shit right there. <laughs> good shit right there. I like how Edwin was helping him take off his jeans. <laughs> Oh, you go back. I didn't see that. Took it out and I was so afraid. <laughs> and then ever since then, I. <laughs>